I received a request asking me how I load my brush. Well, let me show you. Before I begin this, if you have a request for something you'd like to see me do, uh, something technical or even historical, uh, drop me an email and we'll put that on the list. But for this one, how do I load a brush? Well, it's not to me just how I load the brush, but it's how to load the brush for the greatest, uh, greatest results. Before I go into how I load the brush, I want to show you some, some uh, practices of loading brush that drive me mad. They're just, um, well, we won't go into all that, but anyway, I see people do these kinds of things, and this doesn't lend uh, to good brushwork at all. For, for example, one thing I see is I see, I'm just going to pull this down right here like this. I see people, and I'm just going to get my brush. I hate doing this to my brush, but I'm, for your sake, I'm going to do it because it just seems so cruel. But I see brushes that get all messed up full and they'll have the paint all the way up the ferrule there and and they do nothing now the reason I object to that is that it is the shows a lack of control it also is not good for the brushes for the paint to get up into this metal part right here because then uh, it begins to eat away. It begins to eat away the bristles of the brush. So the brush is not going to last its full lifetime if you keep abusing it like that. So um, let me show you a better way. So I'll rinse the brush, or rinse all this stuff, and this takes some doing because uh, lots of gunk in there, and it goes all the way up in the ferrule, and uh, by the way, if it gets stuck up in the ferrule there, it will there will be buildup, and, uh, and it be, just begins after a while. The brush will become useless. Now, so so what if I want um, so what if I want a double loaded brush? I want lots of color. The thing is, I want to load the brush so that the color lives about halfway up. From the point, uh, from the bristles, the edge of the bristles, the point of the bristles there, up to this ferrule, this uh, metal part. So, um, I would, if I wanted a double loaded brush that gives me double color, I would pull one color into the brush a good bit. You can even scoop it up like this, um, and you can even go onto the back of the brush like this, and scoop up another, another bunch of color. You see, there's a good bit of color there and I can then get a nice uneven mixture of color and have control of it. And I also want to say here that when you have, uh, when you allow just that portion of the brush to become loaded, you're able to control uh, more the shape that you make of the color that's in there. You have the feeling that the brush is acting more as a tool rather than just a paint applicator. But when you allow it to gunk up uh, all the way up to the handle uh, and <laughs> further like that, it, it totally, you totally lose control. You're not going to have the control over your brush strokes and therefore to give you as much of the expression or expressive quality as you want. So that's one thing. Now another thing I see an awful lot uh, with the way people use their brushes is I see this kind of thing. I see people take their brushes and then I see them doing this. And I hate to do this to my brush. <laughs> Again, I hate to do this to my brush. But I see people just stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and they're stirring and stirring and stirring with their brush. And that, that causes the brush to wear a whole lot more quickly. And again, um, it causes the, the paint to get embedded in the brush. It's not good for the brush, but neither is it good for the paint. Because when you're forever stroking paint like that, stirring, 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 you flatten out the particles of pigment and it produces nothing but flat color. So you can see here, nothing but flat color when you stir, stir, stir like that. So what I would advise, again, I'm going to wash this out of the brush, get all that out. 
if you want a, a, a uniform color, if you want a uniform color, I advise mixing the color with a palette knife. And so, say if, if we wanted this yellow here to be a little bit more um, uh, less intense than it is, and we pull a, want to pull a little purple in it, I advise pulling that in with a palette knife like that, just to the point that you get it mixed. If you want that more or less as a uniform color, then load it like this, where you consciously load the brush, but you pull the brush into the color like that until you have the amount of paint that you want loaded on the bristles. And you see see how that works right there. The paint is loaded on the bristles only, uh, only to the point that it's about halfway up uh, or maybe a third of the way, but um, uh, of the point of the bristles. And then when you apply the paint, then you see it goes on nice and smoothly and you have control of it. Now, as you're continuing to paint, you have the, uh, the brush in your hand like this. You can pull from several colors. You'll see me do this when I'm doing my demonstrations on our tutorials. Uh, you'll see me pull, um, mix to one color, I'll pull that color into the brush. And then you'll see me go to another color and I'll pull that and I'll pull it one, two, three, maybe four times like that until I get it mixed. But none of this stir, stir, stir. Load the brush by pulling the color into the brush and choosing the color that you need to go into the brush um, as you're loading. If you want it lighter, you've seen me do this. If you've watched my tutorials uh, where I reach over to an, into a light, I'll reach over and pick up some white with a brush. I'll plop it right there and then I'll pull it into the brush. You'll see me pull it sometimes two or three times like that. That gives me the mixture I need. It gives me the control uh, of the brush and it gives me the control of the color and control of the stroke. So just those few little technical things of, um, of really taking care of the brush, not letting the color get all gunked in it, taking control of both the color and the brush, your brushes will be happier, you will be happier, they'll last a lot longer, and you'll become a better painter. And then if you like this quick tip, uh, why not explore our full-length instructional videos? I was just talking about those. Go to dianemise.com and you'll find we have well over a hundred now of these full-length video tutorials. We have them in downloads and DVDs, so give that a try. And there's your quick tip.